everyone knows that flying a simulator is an important part of getting started with the FPV hobby. Previously, that would require your favorite simulator, your transmitter, and you could get connected with a USB cable or perhaps a wireless dongle. What if I told you today there was another way to get connected wirelessly with your favorite FPV Zim? Today, I'm going to show you how. As always, I'm Jeff with Titan FPV. Hey guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload all new content to the channel. The first obvious option to get connected to your simulator is with a USB cable. So you can just plug it in directly to your PC or Mac. Most everybody's gonna have a USB cable, so that's gonna be an easy option. But even then you're gonna be tethered and you're gonna be limited by the length of the cable. FR Sky has made this dongle for several years. I believe you can get these available in Spectrum as well. You can use an existing Express LRS model in your radio, or you can duplicate that for the simulator. First thing I recommend doing is turning the power down on your module. That way we're not running the battery down in our transmitter because you're not gonna be charging via USB-C because we're connected wirelessly via Bluetooth. So let's dive into the Lua script and we'll update that option. All right, we'll scroll down to TX power. And we're gonna turn that down to 10 milliwatt. We're gonna to need to enable the Bluetooth joystick functionality so we can pair it with our Mac or PC and fly the simulator. So you're gonna scroll down to BLE joystick, click on that, and we're gonna click again to enable it. Now this has to be running the entire time that you're using this with the simulator. Let's hop over to our Mac and get paired up. We're gonna open up system settings and go over to Bluetooth. Now you can see the Express LRS joystick down there at the bottom, we'll hit connect. And looks like we're connected. Next thing to do is to open up our favorite SIM. In this case, I'm using liftoff. We're gonna head over to our options menu and then controls with we'll controller. As you see, it already recognizes as an Express LRS joystick. And if we need to calibrate our sticks, we will. Looks like everything's working. Now it's time to get some stick time in. When you're done, all you gotta do is hit exit, exit out. I did notice a little bit of latency versus being wired directly but uh, it wasn't that big of a deal unless you're flying competitively or, or racing. For just general sim use, I wouldn't worry about it. Got a lot of exciting stuff coming to the channel, guys. I just got my notification that my HD Zero Beta goggles shipped yesterday, so those will be coming soon. So that and a bunch of other exciting stuff's coming to the channel. Hope this video was informative. If you got any questions or comments, leave those down below. Make sure to do all the things. And as always, We'll catch you in the next one.